So welcome again to the 22nd day of uh, the preparatory class. And today we are looking into the next topic, which is our electric energy and power, and also measuring instruments. So this uh, video cover the maximum in depth of all what you need to know on the second part of electricity. I haven't done electricity yesterday on the 21st day. So we are going to solve uh, the following set of questions as prepared by the students who actually are the ones that are behind all these things, but they make sure they are the middle of the middle set of questions. So I will take it, like I do say, it's all about listening, downloading, and also writing. Writing out all the points that I'll be saying. Well, that may be fast sometimes, but if you have the video, you can watch over and over again. So we don't have the time. Let's begin with class. The first question is a uh, question says uh, if current I, if I is the current, <clears throat> excuse me, passing through a metallic resistor and H is the heat, is the rate of heat generated in the resistor at constant temperature, then dash. We can show illustration to this. Now there's a man called uh, Joe. Joules, which you guys know very well. He was the one that gave us what is called Joules eating effect. According to Joules eating effect, I'm trying to bring out something fun. I think it's showing now. So let's just take this small, small. He was able to tell us that when we have terminals, uh, we have resistor. Let's just take a very simple illustration. How did this change? Okay, fine. Now we have a resistor that is connected to two terminal X and Y. And uh, if they are, these are terminal X and terminal Y, I can connect it to battery. I just want you to see as current flow through this resistor. So let's say the direction of current is shown as I. Because of radiation, it will be dissipated. It will be given out. I'm just showing direction of it for understanding sake. So what he said from his law was that the amount of it generated, which is also called thermal power, please let it be known, it is also called Thermal power. We've done that under the concept of heat and uh, calorimetry, if you still remember. Thermal power which is called thermal radiation as a result of radiation of heat. So we say the amount of heat generated according to me in thermal power is the rate of flow of heat per second. It's given as, in this case, it was taken to be it. It's given to be equals to I square R place, which is measures in joules per second. Let's that sink. So most of the teacher will now ask write this in form of energy. You need to understand. So and if it is in terms of energy, you know energy is power times time. So by that, this formula will now lead us to I square RT, which is called Joule's eating effect. Joule's eating effect or Joule's eating law. So this is the law according to Joule eating. So that's even why we said this topic fall under the eating effect of current. So when talking about the eating effect of electric current, we'll talk about an amount of current is flowing through a battery or terminals of battery. As current flow, it is being dissipated. It is being released. So when it is released, it's always open to I square of I or energy I square RT. Any of this is what you are going to, to solve your question. And I think from that simple illustration or explanation, you can say it here is represent the square of what? Square of current. So what you need to pick here, I think choice D goes with what I've explained. And this is the answer to the question. And that is the first case. So we move to the next one. We need to up our pace. The second question says we have a cell of internal resistance, two ohms. We've done electricity chapter, R is two ohms. I'll just write ohms and not write ohms is the short form of is the singular or the small letter of omega. Keep it in mind and supply a current to a six ohm resistor. That is capital R at a six ohms resistor. The efficiency of the cell. Under the chapter of electrical cell before electricity, we talk about efficiency of cell. For those that are just watching this one, like I said, if you find anything interesting, you can consider subscribing to the channel at the end of it all. Now, efficiency of a cell for those that are just joining for understanding sake. Diagram not drawn to scale. When you have a battery, battery is always carried out or arranged in the form of a positive, negative, positive, negative. Like this, you can see. So this is a cell which we call battery. So if this is the battery cell one, cell two, 
cell 3. We said the equivalent cell, equivalent cell, E equivalent. You can see series arrangement is E1 plus E2 plus E3. Let it be known. It's so simple. But you need to understand because this cell is arranged in terms of positive, negative, positive, negative terminal. If I arrange it in the other way, if I have positive, negative like this, a quick one, I've done that before as well. But I just want to go back to it because it is important to understand this. If batteries are arranged like this, negative now positive, then positive, negative. I hope students can spot the difference between the first arrangement and the second arrangement. This is cell two and this is cell three. In this case, equivalent cell or equivalent is E1 plus E3 minus E2. Why are we doing this? You have to be careful because the pattern of question we test you in Look at this. This is negative, positive. So positive, negative, negative, positive, positive, negative. So when they are in like this, we add. When it is another point or reverse, we want to subtract. So that is very important when you are talking about uh, efficiency of cell. Now we have talked about efficiency of cell before. We said efficiency of cell, all right, as EWF, is the work output. That's like a machine divided by work input. It's so simple to know this now. Multiply by 100. Basically, this is the way you write it in junior classes. Now, you still need to understand something. I can only to talk and talk and talk, talk on a lot of concepts. But what is needed for all level students is not that much. It is basic and direct. Now, straightforward, we have wasting your time. You need to understand something. When we talk about work output, Output, I just write work out here. Yeah, work output is the same thing as saying you know what we say work out that is the amount of heat, the amount of PD that is supplied. Now, battery can supply and battery can also absorb. <laughs> I hope you are getting grammar. Language is very important, and the language we use to teach is English. So, one need to understand language. And when battery is supplying energy, that means we are saying battery is what is discharging. These are questions in language for that are not numerical like this. When battery is absorbing, that means you are charging battery. So let it be known. So when battery is discharging, we subtract. When battery is charging, we add. That's another thing you need to keep on. That is even what we talk about in this simple illustration. So now, a quick one. When you are talking about the work done by battery outside, work done by battery is the amount of potential difference that you supply to the battery, we call it B. Whereby the work input, the total amount of work done in any circuit or cell is electromotive force. I hope you know that. Multiply by 100. So this is the way we come about our formula, the efficiency formula. For derivation's sake, they are available on full concept video, which I say I think you don't need. Exam is near. Efficient is the best thing for now. So V is equals to I R. We already talked about that. I R. Like I'm, I'm, I'm continuing with this, and E is equals to I R. Plus IR. We talk about that on the electric cell times 100. So derivation is not important. Application is very important. So E will now be equal to let's factorize I R. Here we have I is common R plus R multiply by 100. For some case of question that they will give you points. That's why I'm showing you all. Some will give you V, some will give you E and ask you for efficiency. So what happened? I gets cancelled out. So efficiency of the cell is always big R over big R plus small R times 100. This is the way. You are going to solve this question and directly you are going to get the answer. So I would say that the answer to this will now be the big R here. I'm using this side. E is the big R here is the external R of six. The small R and plus the big R is six plus two is eight. You multiply by 100. On simplification, this is 75%. This is still over four. The quarter of 100 will give you 75%. Not to waste your time because I don't want to take too much of time for this video. So we go by this answer and that is the way we come about that. So let's. You need to just understand all these things because question pattern might be different. That is the essence of trying to show all important stuff. Next question is, the maximum voltage across 100 ohm resistor is 20 volt. The maximum power it can dissipate is that. There is a voltage and there is what? A what? A resistance. Now, maximum power, P maximum, please always keep it in mind, is always equal to your teacher might have told or explained to you, you, are, you know there are a lot of formulas for power, V squared by R. Power can also be maximum. We can use law of energy dissipation. I don't need to prove anything. No time. Power can also be maximum when you say power is equal to I square R. It can also be maximum when power is equal to current times voltage without IB. 
But in terms of when what, when the cell or when the word circuit is connected to internal resistance and a variable resistor, condition might change. I'm not going to do that now. Why, why do I say condition might Because you can connect in series and parallel. Students need to understand this. I think I just need to talk about that because of technical questions so that you don't just go and fall in the team of getting wrong answer. In fact, your textbooks, most of them, I'm sorry to say this, are wrong. It's on concepts. So which you need to get clearly. Now, power. When we talk about powers, we have different power powers. We're talking about powers in cell and powers that are generated by eating effects. Eat. Eat is being dissipation, uh, dissipated. We call it uh, uh, dissipation of heat. Heat lost in form of dissipation. Now, it, uh, when you charge your phone, you know sometimes some of you, your phone will be very, very hot. What shows we are talking about eating effect of current. As power is being, but battery is being charged. It is absorbing. It is absorbing and it is being dissipated. Let me speak that language so that you guys can get for those that understand my language. Now, my point is a quick one. We don't need to do the simple question, just substitute the parameter, you have the answer. So simple. But conditions need to be known. Now, the formulas of powers are, are many. As you can see, three of them is shown here. You can also have another one, but I think this is the basic one. Now, you need to understand that each of them can give the value of maximum power. But there are conditions. What do I mean by condition? If I connect, I don't know, if my writing tab is hanging, I don't know what is happening, but I just have to what, believe it will come back to normal. So now, what I'm saying, guys, is if I have uh, a situation whereby I have very glassy and back. Now, if I have series combination, when batteries are connected in series, when batteries are connected in series, sorry, guys, I'm trying to adjust. I'm looking and see if uh, maybe I'm the one that is causing the stop. I'm trying to arrange my hands. Okay, I think it's writing. This I can manage. Let me be quick now. If you have series arrangement of resistance like this, just a quick one. Whether you have R1 and R2, oh, this thing is not writing well. I hope I will not do this video two times. So I just pray now. If you say the power that is being this, for someone who say our power is equals to V square over R, if you want to get the power in R1, you say V square over R1. This is very, very wrong because power can never be V square over R1 in this case. Why? Why is because when you have series arrangement of what of a of a, of a, of a cell or whatever circuit or whatever you call it, you are going to see that what different what different current is going to pass through them, and the same current is going to pass through them, but different PD will fly what will pass through them. So you can't say the what the power is equal to what this way over R. It does not work there. So the power that will pass through that one is not this square over R. It's very very wrong. So the power that will pass through here can be equal to I square multiplied by R1. Why? This is correct because the same current will pass through series arrangement. I hope you understand. So application is very important when you are solving questions. So now I know from distribution we talk about in electrical and electricity last uh, yesterday. We discussed how we can distribute the amount of current that will pass. For example, here, the resistance that will pass through this one is uh, R1 plus R2 series arrangement. So simple. So these are ways you, and if it is parallel, if it is parallel arrangement, this one will not be correct. This one will be correct. So these are things you need to keep in mind when solving questions. But like, don't just have uh, uh, all formulas for power should work for any question. It doesn't work like that. So keep it in mind. I'll solve this question now because I'm even facing a lot of challenges with my writing time, like I said. So I just hope it's come back to me. So here we have a uh, voltage and we have a uh, we have voltage and resistance. So we can just do this directly substitute. I'm gonna have a uh, B square that's 20 squares 400. We are dividing by 100. Answer is 4 watts. So please keep that in mind. Directly we can pick this and that's that about that. I hope you understand that. We have a lot of questions, but I have a lot of difficulties and, and challenges I'm facing with what I'm using to write. So I don't know what I will do for this video. Next question. Now, the, I will be fast now because of these this issues I'm facing. I'm sorry about that. The heat producing a conductor carrying an electric current is dash. We've talked about that. Heat in joules per second is I square R. And if it is in form of energy, we can write it as heat in form of joules, I square RT. The first formula is written in form of joules per second. So, whereby the second one is written in form of what? But not what? Joules. I hope you understand that. So we can just take uh, this option. I think something is cut away. So then I produce this slide. It not put all options. But notwithstanding, we can say inverse proportional to current is a lie. It is directly proportional to current. Oh wow, maybe that is issue. And uh, resistance. It is directly proportional to current, resistance, and time. 
So if it's inverse relational, so I think the correct answer is if it's inverse relational to square of correct persistence and time. Maybe that's option D. Please note that it is square of correct. So none of this option is correct. I think it is their last option that they didn't put here. So you just hope it is D for this question. So that's that about that. Let's move to the next one. Hey, I'm just saying A because I'm having issues. And this is not something I can solve in a, in a kind of a one minute. I have to stop this video to solve it. But I don't want to stop the video. Now, two resistors, R1 is 4 and R2 is 5, are connected in parallel across a potential defense. If you and people be to represent the power in R1 and R2, respectively, then the ratio of power P1 and ratio P2, option should be 4. They only gave us 2. In fact, none of this option will be correct. Like I told you, power in parallel. You can see that is why concept is also important. Power in parallel is what you can use what? V square over R1 for the first one. And for the second one also, you can use power equals to what? V square over what? R2. Hope you understand because in parallel, the potentials are, are the same. If you see this, the only one that can work is what? I square. And you get this explanation. So on simplification, the voltage that is saved is we get cancelled out. I just want you to see. The first one will give me, yeah, wow. <laughs> this challenge is too much. Maybe I'll stop this video now. I will just have to stop it. Now, the first one will be power in the first one will be equal to B squared. B is the same, divided by R. What is R? The R we have is uh, 4, right? Across the potential, whatever. Then the second one is, I think the answer is there, B squared over R to B squared, or B squared there is still the same voltage over the second one is uh, 5. I hope I'm not making any mistake. That's the second power. So on simulation, we say V gets cancelled out. So please note that. We are looking for P1 ratio P2. P1 is, this thing is not writing well. P1 is 1 over 4, from what I just showed you now. And P2 is equal to what? 1 over 5, when V squared cancels out. So from now, you can say P1 ratio P2 is very simple to know. That's with 5 ratio 4. How? That is 1 over 4 ratio 1 over 5. What do you know, guys? We can cross multiply, and on simplification, Answer will be equals to 5 ratio 4. I hope you understand. And thank God for this two option question. Our answer is there this time by one. So that is why we are picking it. I hope you understand how to cross multiply. Or you just divide. Your teacher will tell you that when you came division to multiplication, it will what? Reverse. Now, quick one, quick one. No time to be explained too much of concept. Let's quickly solve this one. In the other hour, boom, each, each of the resistors can dissipate a maximum power of 18 watts. Each of them has power of 18, 18 watts. Language is very, very important. Now, without becoming excessively heated, it's an effect of current. When current starts flowing, it will be generated. And that is what Joe's eating effect is telling you. What is the maximum power the circuit can dissipate? This one is 18, this one is, and they have the equal resistance. This one is speculative about what we're rating of both. I will still talk about that because of this thing now, I have to be rushing. So this one is 18. This one is 18. This one is 18. Let us use the method we have discussed under the part one of electricity. We said if arrangements are in parallel, the equivalent power, power equivalent, this thing is not working at all. Equivalent power distributed by the by that store will be equal to just looking at way to bring this thing back. So let's do the parallel combination first. Maybe I will manage myself to finish this video. 18 times 18 over 18 plus 18. We did this yesterday, very simple. 18 times 18 is uh, 324 or what? You can do, just try that. I think it should be 324. 18 square, that should be, is it 324? And found that 18 plus 18 is 36. 324 divided by 36. So this should be nine. Yes, nine, nine. I'm used to doing something with my head. That picture is on your screen on your exam day. So the nine, nine watts, sorry, is what is flowing through these two because they are in parallel. So it's now connected in series. I did a lot of questions like this yesterday. So nine watts is now connected in series to this. So the total one will now be P equivalent. will now be the nine we just resolved plus the 18 of the third one, giving us 27 watts. Two option question. Thank God again. We are fortunate. The answer is still, <laughs> it's still there. So that's that. But here, I can't say we are unfortunate. It's because of the words. They, those boys preparing this slide, they are serious. Don't mind them. The next one. The next question is, uh, it is supplied uniformly at the rate of 100 watts to 
1.0 then turn it for a negative 2 kilogram of a liquid for 20 seconds. If the temperature of liquid rises from by 5 degrees Celsius, then the specific heat capacity of the liquid. We've done this one, a lot of this one now, heat and calorimentary. So you know we are talking about eating effect of coin. I told you under that chapter that according to J. Mayer, J. Mayer 3 does in 1823, that heat can be converted to work. Heat can be converted to work. So when we say heat can be converted to work, and we won't talk a lot of time with dynamic processes, entropy, the second law, and so on and so forth. For now, we know that we have talked about work. Work is done. That means inside the circuit, when you supply current words to a circuit, the words it starts coming out. As the part we can say what work is being carried out in what inside the what inside the what inside the circuit. So that is what brings about I square RT, all this power because power times time is what NID. NID is being dissipated. And we told that it can be converted to work. So we can convert one form of energy to another. And we can quickly use that to solve this type of simple question. Now, from what we've studied in the chapter of its calorimetry and thermometry, we've talked a lot about rating of power and its conversion and a lot of formulas. Now, from that, we know that heat that can be seen is specific heat, and that is MC change in temperature. We've talked about that. It's converted to the work that is what in circuit. Work has been converted to what energy, energy, work, energy theory. We've talked about that time and time again, too. So we've talked about that from Joe eating movement. It is always power times what? Times time. Energy is power times time. So doing this, I think we can also solve this now. The mass of this stuff is uh, 10 is by negative 2. Multiply by, we are looking for C. I'll cover the temperature, please. It has risen by 5 degrees Celsius. So I don't know how this examiner actually wants to put the answer. But on a norm, when I say norm, normally, it should be conversion. That should be 273 plus uh, 5. This should be 278. Conversion should not be the problem. But sometimes, if you might use this one and your answer will not be there, please kindly use your fiber. That is the standard of our exam here in our country. Please note that. Then the power here, the power, power here is uh, 100 watts. You can see 100 times the time. The time was 20 seconds. On simplification, you can see C is equal to 100 times 20. We are divided by 278 times uh, 0.01. That is just uh, 0.02. That well, is power 2. That is power minus 2. On simplification, when this one comes off, then this is power 2. That's that is power 4 times 20 divided by 278, which I know that the answer is not there. You can see what I'm well, Let's check first. This is power 4 is uh, 10,000 times 20. 10,000 times 20 divided by 278. All you have now, fine. So what I'm saying is this thing should be five. Because from what I'm seeing here, it will not work. But if this guy is five, I hope you understand what I'm saying. If this guy is five, the answer will be, was this five year one, five year four? Answer will be four times 10 is power four, which is option C. You can see what I'm talking about, standard of question in your country, in our country. Then this is my country as well, no rejection. So specific capacity is very Joe back program per Kelvin. So that is what you have. You can see what I've changed. I've changed this one from what, 278 to what, to five. Because of the standard of the way the examiner puts the answer. So 4 times 6 by 4, I think 1 should be minus because this option and this option typo is what? It's not the same. So you pick one. We can't see this one on your exam, on your system, because I know someone will still send me a message. That's how, what, what are we going to pick? Like I said, you are not going to see this type of situation. So and again, maybe this SI unit is changing. So the SI unit of this one is the same. This is the answer to this question, or which is also the other one. So one we have minus, let's assume this one is adding minus. Don't worry, I will talk to those 19. They are just setting all these questions for me today. The next one. Now, we have a rating of power. That is cost of electricity. I'll be fast. I will soon be, I will soon be true with this. Don't worry. Now, power rating. Now, talking about power rating. When we talk about rating of power, let's quickly talk about that concept very quickly. Power rating is always in terms of, we talk about watts and voltage. That's what we call rating of power, or rating of power. Now, for example, we can say the power is what 50 watts, 200 volts per. So what we have talked about here, this is what we call rating of power. But why else you can mass or define rating of power? It is what it is, it is always associated with what the power and the what and the voltage. So you can equally calculate the resistance that will flow through it. Now, when we talk about cost, important one shorty shorty concept, cost of electricity, cost. Cost is always energy in kilowatt hour. Simple way. Multiply by cost per unit. So I think this is better not to talk of too much of concept. Now under rating of power, I need to talk about brightness of bulb. 
the box ahead. If we're going to talk about retail, we are talking about why is it that one box will be shine brighter than the other? It is because of their rating. Rating differs from one point to another. Let me give you a quick concept, right? Copy my voice now. Just write what I'm saying that. Because I'm not going to write. When you connect two bulbs in series, always keep it in mind. When you connect two bulbs in series, if the same potential are passing through them, which is normal question you see everywhere you go, the first bulb will have higher words, high brightness than the second one. Now, but when they are connected in parallel, I'll just tell you a quick, quick concept that will help you. When they are connected in parallel, the second one under we have what we bright, which are brighter than the first one. The reason is power equals to V squared by R. We've talked about that. When we are connecting something in series, power is I square R. When you connect it in parallel, power is what V squared by R. Shorty, shorty concept. Keep that on the back of your mind. Nothing to work. Now, nothing to keep what to work. Waste time on. Energy in kilowatts hour, energy over 1,000. That is the formula we use. Energy over 1,000. Energy over 1,000. And this thing is not speaking. I just hope it's come back alive. So, energy over 1,000 multiplied by, yeah, in kilowatt hour. I hope you understand when I say energy in kilowatt hour, you divide by 1,000. Because it should always be in watts. So, if you are using energy in kilowatt hour, you know you are dividing by 1,000. Let me write, let me just write the formula like this for you. The quick one, let's just substitute power. So if I also say energy is power times time, power times time over 1,000 multiplied by cost per unit. So I think after this, I have one more slide to go or two. So I will rush you guys now. Apologies for rushing you. Power, what's the power? 200. What's the time? 20 days. Uh, that is the way something in. We have to go over 20 days to seconds. 24 hours in here. Kilowatt are two hours. 24 hours make one day. 20 times 24 is easy to multiply 20. That's 480. That is 480, 480, 480 hours. I hope you understand that. Please confirm. 480 hours. That's 480 hours over 1000. Multiply by cost by unit is 5. Simplification make this one in the 20 go. This gets cancelled out. That is just 96 times 5. 96 times 5 is still going to make 480 again. That is 480 cobra. 480 a couple. So I'll convert this one to Nera. This it is in our in our own money in Nigeria. Ghanaian student watching my video, you can be you can be in CDs. Please note, note that. Now connect because here it is 100 what 100 uh 100 cover is equals to one Nera in my own country here. In Ghana cities or those working in Europe, you can convert in cents towards dollar as well. So it depends. This is in my own in my own currency in Nigeria. So I'm gonna pick I'm dividing this by 100 to have four Nera. 80 cover, which will make this answer to be valid. So keep that in mind for the nature of question, it can come in any way. So the same thing is applied here. Like, like I said, I'll leave some questions for you to do. You can attempt this and drop the comments down here. It's the same concept energy in kilowatt hour multiplied by what? Well, in this case, for 10 hours, you can see 50 watts lamp and four. You, under, you have to calculate all the power. This is four times 100. This is 400 watts plus 50 watts. So uh, again, you have a uh, five or 50 watts. Thank you very much. Five times 50, this is 250 watts too. So you have to add the total power, this plus this. This is also very important. That is our, about nine, 650 watts. That is the power, the time, 10 hours, over 1,000 times two. So if you do that well, I think you should get 0 0.65, I guess. But I'm a very good guess anyway. Some students in my offline classes and tell you that, that I hardly miss question, but I'm a point one three because I am not what I'm just saying. This is just saying six fifty divided by one thousand times two. So if you do that, I don't know six fifty divided by one thousand, and that's zero point two five. That is that is zero point one three. This is the answer. So you can see now this time around, I guess so. So you can try that. This is four hundred plus two fifty six fifty six fifty times six fifty times ten divided by one thousand. And I see that 65 is still showing that. Multiply the answer times 2. So it will give you something like 130 or 13. It will give you 13. Then for that 13 to, oh, that should be 0 0.13. I've done that, but we can as well try that. And I have reasons for doing this because they are the same concept and you should be able to solve. On to the next page, guys. Now, the same concept again, I'm going to leave it for you. Most the academy team actually wants you guys to try. Use the same knowledge we have, we have used here. If you solve this, drop your answer. The answer should be 5.70. I'm just guessing it will not be right. This is 840 watts, 8 times 40, just the same concept, 460 watts, 4 times 60, 
and 200 watt, 2 times 100, to calculate the total power. So, look at this. It was on for 5 hours daily. So, hours daily. How many days? 30 days. The total hours is now 5 times 30. You understand? 5 hours every day for 30 days. That's 150 hours. So, be careful about that. This is your time. These are your power. 320 plus 240 plus 200. That's your total power. Then, cost will now be equal to energy power times time over 1000 multiplied by cost per unit. You can just substitute parameters. And if you do that, where well, you have 570, which is 5 naira 70 power. Let's do it together because I believe. This is 320, 320 plus 200 is 520, 520 plus 240, 760. At 760 over 1000 times the time, the time is 150 multiplied by the cost per unit. Never charge 5 over. That's 5. Simplification will give you 570. 570 over. Please confirm it. So, and that is 5.70 over. And that's that. So, the same knowledge is used for this one. And I don't think I need to do this one again. So please attempt this, drop your answer in the comment section. And this, this is current. Now, we've talked about all formulas of power. Power is current times voltage. This time I just need to get the power. Powers. Current, one, times voltage, 200. That is 200. The power is 200 watts. So that's just the The power is 200. Time is uh, 24 hours. So it's simple to do. You can see I've done it now. 200 times 24. I said that's 24 cobalt. I'm doing it with my head. That's one thing about me. How did I know? Power is 200 times time is 24 over 1000 multiplied by how many days? 5 cobalt. So you can see everything has 200 times 5 is 1000. 1000 times 1000. It means 24 cobalt. So that is it. You can see the way I'm doing it. Concepts will make you understand all this. Your level of physics is so simple. So there's nothing stopping you from not getting them all. That's why I'm doing all series chapter. If you watch them, I can tell you to actually ace your score. There's no words. There's no sweet mouth in that. If you can watch all the videos from A to Z, it's not easy to make them. You can see, but I'm try try trying to do them. Sometimes, look at it. My, my writing pad was not writing before. Now it, it's working well. Those that I face a lot of challenges, so in doing them, but I want to make sure you guys actually work. You pass very well, and that's the sense of doing all topics. Even most of the students I cannot finish all the syllabus. I'm finishing all the chapters of physics. It is not easy. If you think it's easy, you can try it and start doing it. So now let's see. The next one is every house is supplied with electricity. Every house supplied with electricity is provided with a bus of this is class 10. Class 10 question fuse. The work of fuse. Now a fuse, you can just write a fuse is a wire, a thin wire. Of low melting point. This is SS1, class 10, low melting point. That break, that breaks higher current, higher current, greater than the rating, greater than the rating, than the rating. Of the words of the appliance, and just write simple, simple stuff. So, in this case, now it's so simple to get the answer. Now, they say every household is supplied with a bus of fuels that's that to do that. The work of fuels, the consumption electric can be recorded, is very wrong. People residing in the house will not have electric short, that is also very wrong. <laughs> if you like, fuels are not making us well. the total variable of the means can be limited now. Yes, that's the answer. The voltage supply can be stabilized. No. It sounds like it's standby when no, no, it's not what it's not, it's not what do you what do you use when what uh what do you for some of you have this uh what do you call this blue bit uh, machine that you use so to store power when light is off, you know, your stuff will not be off for some minutes, but you still have to go and switch over there. What do you call the name? It's skip my mind now, it's a popular stuff. Uh it's not an inverter, I'm just talking about what uh what can store what. For some time, so the total current draw from the mains can be limited. Now, people like that will not have electric if they talk to right now. The voltage, uh, the, the voltage supply can be stabilized. Now, the total current draw from the mains can be limited. Yeah, this is the answer. Now, because the work of use is to break down what any was current that is greater than the rating of the what of the appliances. So, when you have a fuse, you are you are saying that what, what you are doing is what is what 
is not going to affect your appliances. So every household must have a fuse in their port house in their electrical appliances to avoid what it was the damaging of what of their what, the appliances. So it's a simple question, which I don't think we need to waste time on. The next question, same thing, same concept. The function of five arms fuse includes included in what in a what in a circuit supplying a house in a room with power is to that. We talked about that. Now current supply to the temperature of the keep current supply below we can say please a fuse we now if the fuse is treated five amps let me explain this work the IUS coil that can enter there is 4.99 amps immediately it is up to the rating of that fuse it will break if you cut it so please keep that in mind it's a simple question Next one says the use of electrical fuse most the academy team are trying to make sure you understand concept well which is good now, it does not prevent electric shock. We're talking about that. to supply electricity, it does not supply to allow it to flow. It does not allow electricity to flow. In. To cut out, you can see this is the answer. We've talked about it. Same concept, same teacher, same methodology. Next one. Which of the following is an essential physical property of wires of I thought it was be what? Wire of what? Low melting point. Answer directly. That is that. That is that about that. Next page. Next page is still this. <clears throat> Very good. Now we have uh, in the circuit, in the above side, this is in the circuit beside, it's not above here. The fuse wire will melt when dash. Let's see what is the rating of the voltage 36 volts. What is this, guys? 14. What is this now? If current flow from higher potential to lower potential, we know the way current flow, we can conclude that what this is connected in series. This 14 and 6 are connected in series, guys. 14 plus 6 is going to give you the equivalent resistance of 20 ohms. 20 ohms. So let's calculate the current. I is equal to V over R. The voltage that is passing is 36. 36 divided by 20 is less than 2. It's about 1 point. So you can cut. You can cut with speed about 1.8. You can see it is very, very lower. So when the key is open, therefore this 1.8 amps will still pass without causing anything. Please note. So now, the fuse will melt when, now, if this guy is closed, listen guys, if this guy is closed now, the only current that will flow through this guy is only the what? 14 amps, which you guys know. 14, uh, the resistance will not only be what? 14, as this one will not what? Flow. So we can say V over R. Directly, the V here is 36, then the one is now 14. 36 divided by 14 will be greater than 2. But let's press it. 36 divided by 14 should be about 2.5 something, whatever, 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 whatever. Now, this is greater than what? Than the rating of the fuse, which is 2 amps. So if this guy is close, only 14 amps will flow, resistor will what will pass. Then in that case, this fuse will melt. So the answer to this thing is what when K is what? When it is close. This is the way we interpret this question, and that is that. The next question. This is Bob. I can see Bob here. Now, here we are in the circuit above. R is a resistor whose resistance is increased with increase, with increase, with increase, don't mind the tautology, with increase in temperature. Temperature L1 and L2 are identical lamps. L1 and L2 are connected. These are bulbs. They are connected in parallel. If the temperature of R increases, L1 becomes brighter than L2, L2 becomes brighter than I've told you. From what I've told you. See, one thing is from my teaching experience, I can tell you what you will face in this area and why. What is the arrangement? You can see the arrangement now. Because the system is connected directly to L2. What happened? The system will absorb some light. So this one will be dimmer. And this one will work brighter. I told you. In that language form, in I think question two or three, I was talking about box for parallel stuff. What happened? The one that is connected on that will shine brighter than the one that is connected. Please keep that. But if we are in series, the one connected, the first one will shine brighter than the other one. So you look for something that goes with this explanation. I, I think it is better you understand that. Um, I like this question. Look at this now. L1 becomes brighter and L2 becomes dimmer. Fine. L1 becomes brighter and L2 does not change. L1 becomes brighter and, and uh, okay, very good. L1 becomes brighter. You know, you can go, this is very wrong. L2 will never become brighter because L1. Is. Now, all the options now, L1 becomes brighter and L2 does not change. L1 becomes dimmer. This is also wrong. L1 is not dimmer. Now, this is where we are. Very good question. I like this question so much. This is very technical. 
L1 becomes brighter and L2 becomes dimmer. Very good. Which is normal because this one we absorb. Now, L2 will become dimmer because some of, most of the light coming from this guy has been absorbed by the resistor. So this will be dimmer. So this is the right answer to the question and not what this. Let it be known. There are some misconceptions in most of your test material. And that is where we are here to help you guys with all this. And I think the last slide, if there's any other one, this should be the last slide for this section. It's in effect of current and we are in here. Which of the following R meters may be used to measure for measuring alternating current? Alternating current is AC. We are also doing that topic when we get to the cell works in a chapter. The next chapter tomorrow is magnetic effects of current. We are talking about moving coil. Moving coil galvanometer, moving coil ammeter, conversion of galvanometer to ammeter, DC dynamo, and stuff like that. Moving, moving, moving coil. Fields. Different fields, perpendicular and parallel fields. We've done magnetism. Now we want to talk about moving to about server law and the rest. So don't miss tomorrow's chapter. It's going to be wonderful. Now, back to what we are talking about. Moving the coil effects of current. Those are do eating effect. We've talked about that. They say, which of them is used for measuring? Let's start. Moving coil ammeter. Moving iron ammeter. Hot wire ammeter. Now, let it be known that moving coil ammeter work on the principle of magnetic effect of current. Tomorrow chapter, do miss it. Same time. Magnetic effect of current. That is that. So, it does not work. It only work on what? For DC circuit. What is DC? Direct current. Now, if you are looking for what can be used for measuring alternative current, it must work on the principle of eating effect of current. When I say eating effect of current, we are talking about heat dissipation, eating effect, dissipation of heat, eating effect, heat dissipation, heat dissipation. Keep it in mind because language is another problem for most students. Dissipation. So keep that in mind. Now, moving ion ammeter can work, can work, but can be used for measuring both AC and what? And this notes that the reason is because they work on the principle. Of it, you their scale is non uniform. Another important point their scale is not uniform. Magnetic effect of current, their scale are uniform, just like the meter you see with the red unique. You understand? Hot wire meter, I know you tell that this one work on what? Eating the effect of current, hot, 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 eat. So let it be known. Iron, eat, hot, wire, eat. These are direct ways. So always keep in mind they can use for measure both AC and DC. And as your Roman figure two and three is what absolutely correct for this question. I don't think there is option the Roman figure two and three. Okay, option B. That's the answer, and that is the way it is. The next question: high tension, which we call high transmission, means this is a type three question. Electricity are transmitted at high voltage. And low current. We've talked about Joule heating effect, low current. Why? Because heat is proportional to the square of what current. If you transfer electricity at high current, all the what, all the electricity we want will be dissipated in form of heat. It's still here. Thank God. It's not being well. We now use what a high voltage and low current to avoid what to minimize heat loss. Minimized heat loss. Heat loss by what? By DCP. Dissipation. So that is when we talk about equal by zero, we talk about eating effect to avoid that it to become hot. All the wires that we use to transmit the electricity will be hot if they are transmitted at high high current. So we transmit at high voltage and high low current. We call high tension. It's called high tension. HT. Keep it in mind. And that's a direct question. High tension means transmission at high voltage and low current. Look for what looks like what I said here. I'm rushing the big transformer. We transmit with you whatever. Of power and loop, and this is it. So, thank you, guys. The last question I guess, or do I still have one more page? Wow, thank God I don't have another page. Now, the last question is uh, electrical power is transmitted at high voltage rather than low voltage because of the amount of energy loss is reduced towards its dissipation. I've talked about that. Now, let's talk about possession of eddy point. A quick one under electromagnetic induction, EMI. I'm going to talk extensively, which is the topic after tomorrow, magnetic effect of current. All these topics, some of you, you are not sort in your classes, even at your tutorial center. I'm going to, dis I'm going to dismantle them, pieces them, and make sure you understand them. So I'm taking magnetic effect of current tomorrow, next tomorrow, electromagnetic induction. The following day, I'm taking what we call semiconductor. The following day, I'm taking simple circuits, And after that, I'm going to take what we call modern physics. Modern physics, poor atomic model, radioactivity, uh, ammonic emission, electric emission, all we're taking. So, guys, right, this is a simple one. EMI, LD current is back EMF, SF current is charged, excessive voltage is charged, all these ones are rubbish. 
You understand? The answer to what we are talking about, every current force under the world, what we call what? What we call uh, electromagnetic induction. We are going to understand what we call eddy current. It is called back electromagnetic force, back EMF. So, but for now, let's limit it to now. If I will still talk about it, lost by hysteresis. Magnetic reversal. See you soon, guys. Thank you, and you have a wonderful night. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you find anything interesting. Thank you. God bless.